Welcome guys, uh, final project management series. In this series, we will talk about student management information system. It is the complete system for a faculty. If you would like to create a system for your faculty or uh, at the university. So this video will be very beneficial for you to create uh, um, a faculty or the student information management system uh, for your faculty. So it is the uh, class diagram or we can see we can generate all diagrams from this one class uh, uh, If that is a ER diagram if that is activity or someone else just if you know uh, one, one one diagram So we can generate all we can create all diagrams from that one So in this video, I will show you the class diagram for student management information system So let's start guys. So watch the video until the end to get understood on this and it will be beneficial for you First of all, we have the faculty class, our entity, our, we can say, use case, whatever, a okay, faculty class. In faculty class, we have two variables, ID and name, and also the function functions we have, create, read, update, and delete. And the second, we have student registration. The student registration, we have student ID, registration type, registration date, faculty ID, department ID. And also the function like create, read, upgrade, update, and delete. The faculty has one-to-one -one relationship with a student registration because the faculty can, multiple uh, registration can occur in a faculty. And in the second, uh, we will come to the uh, student profile. Student, it is a general profile student for a student. And the student registration has a relationship with it. Also, student detainment. And in student profile, we have ID and name, nickname, father name, all general information about a student. If that is SSN, page number, SSN volume, and relatives, contact number, address, uh, and also his uh, his entry test, um, entry test, uh, marks and school from his school he became he came to the to the this faculty uh, status and also he has hostel or not or he has the scholarship or not uh, so all the general information for a student we can write at this uh, 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 class or entity and the function in this class will be log in log out view profile uh, view attendance and change login details so the, it was a class for a student, a general profile for a student. He come to the faculty or the university. And next we will come to the department. That faculty has relationship with department one to many. Faculty has many departments. And uh, department has the variables like attributes. We can say ID, name and faculty ID. Uh, also the functions like create a read, uh, update and delete. And next we will come to the student detainment and the student detainment we have student ID semester ID reason date in which semester he detained the uh, faculty so and that these are the attributes for it semester ID in which semester and what is the reason that he's detained the faculty and the detainment student detainment has a relationship with the student profile and also has a relationship with semester in which semester I, in, uh, now we will come to the semester class or entity and the attributes for semester are ID, name, faculty ID, department, semester code. And uh, also the functions are those CRUD operations and the relationship between the student detainment and semester is one to many. Semester has one and student any it means that and one semester money student detainment can occur money student may detain at one semester and next we will come to the student disassessment and at this uh, diagram uh, we have student id semester id reason date in which semester he desist the faculty it also has the relationship with semester like the detainment and also it has the relationship with uh, profile student profile and next we will come to the student scholarship is the student has a scholarship or not we have the attributes like student id semester id date and these are the function current op operations and the student scholarship has the same the relationship with semester in which semester it means that in semester one to many from semester size side one to money to student scholarship 
and also the student scholarship has relationship with we can say a student hostel okay yeah now we will come to the student hostel a student hostel has student id letter number letter date and also credit operation for functions and uh, now we will come to the student lewment and in student lewment we have semester id reason date and credit operations for that and student lewment has the relationship with user account and in user account we have user id user email password and verified is that verified or not and also the operation for user account like like in logout create read update and delete so guys from this class diagram you can create the entity diagram you can create the activity you can create the sequence diagram just to get understand on these classes so you will get idea of how to make the er diagram or someone else these are the entities with us student registration faculty these are the entities with us and these are the attributes of entities so guys if this video was uh, useful for you so please subscribe our youtube channel and share this video with uh, your friends Thanks for watching guys. Thanks.